Right then, hi everyone, and welcome back to Carver Park Farm. So today, um, I would like to feed the chickens first of all. So we're going to use the JCB, and that means putting the bucket on. Just take that off, and uh, they won't take too much. I wouldn't have thought. Just one bucket load should do it. So we'll head over to the store at Carver Yard. Cobra farmyard and just fill this up as much as we can. It would be good if this had a beacon. It really doesn't look right without a beacon. Oh well, it also doesn't have a reversing tone, I'm not sure what that's about. Normally beeps these ones in real life. Let's get a good scoop full. I really don't know the capacity of the chicken's feed trough. So if I can just get full load, that should be plenty. Actually, that is a lot. That's 4,500 litres. So that's probably way more than they need. Oh, well, we can bring it back. Not to worry. Because they only took 80 litres or so of water. So I would imagine it would only take 80 several litres of grain as well. I mean, they're only chickens, aren't they? Right, here we are. And I really don't think it's going to put too much in the trough. But at least I'll have something to eat. I assume I just tip it in. Yeah, <laughs> um, so it took 1%, so uh, <laughs> I brought quite a bit more than I needed to there. Ah oh, well, not to worry. Um, so here are the pigs, This is well this is where the pigs will be, this is the pig shed. I'm looking to get some and we could actually do that right now. We'll have a look. Okay, so how many shall we buy? 10? 15? We'll go with 20. Okay, we've got 20 pigs. Uh, beef, um, so that must be a cow. So we'll get um, five of them probably, because they're more expensive. Oh, there they are. Snorting away. Oh, rolled on its back. I've never used this mod before. Totally new to it. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got pigs. So here we are on the fattening installations page. We've got the beef and the pigs. We've got five beefs. And um, we're going to have to work on all these. Uh, they're both going to need water. Both going to need silage, straw, and they'll both produce the manure and slurry. Um, also grain, we've got some grain now. So um, we could work on these today. I wasn't actually initially planning on doing that, but it could be quite a good idea. Okay, so 
I think we'll probably go and fetch some silage out of our clamp that we made. Not the one we did yesterday, uh, but the other one we have. And we'll of course take this back because we don't actually need it here, I don't think. Uh, although it does say wheat for both, so I'm not sure. So if someone could let me know where you tip the wheat for the pigs, then that would be helpful if you do. Just it says it does on the installation page, so I'm not sure um, being new to it all, but we'll go and get the silage. I know how to do that at least, so we can do that. That seemed like quite a lot of work, really, just for a handful of grain. Shame I couldn't have just walked over there with a little bucket of grain, it would have been a lot more useful. Uh, but we'll tip this back as we don't need it. I think we'll drop some on the floor. Okay. Uh, and that can probably stay here, but actually we've already got a bucket there, so I'll take it back. Alright, so that's quite a lot of time taken up on the chickens. Now for the pigs, and they can take priority now. So, um, just need to drop this bucket off somewhere. But where? <laughs> where can I put it? I'll put it here. I'll be alright. And now we need to put the grab on. Someone was asking uh, if there were any jobs where you have to extend the boom on this thing fully. And uh, not really sure how to answer that question, but I guess you could extend it whenever you want. Right now I don't really have to extend it that far, but uh, you could do if you wanted to. So we've got one straw. We'll put one of these hay in as well. Uh, these are wrapped. It seems weird that you put them in wrapped. You obviously wouldn't do in real life. You can put the wrap in the mixture. But you do seem to in this game. Okay. Uh, that's looking good. Just check on the percentages here. That's 44%. Obviously 50-50. Um, oh, now. Yes. Um, it's not hay, is it? It's actually silage. So, we don't actually have any hay, unfortunately. So, it's going to be just silage and straw. So, we'll just do the top to silage, I think. Now I thought originally, when we were doing it, um, despite me not tethering it, I thought it was still thinking it was hay, because it still looked like hay. But clearly, because we've wrapped it, it has decided that it is silage, which is what I wanted. It's just I thought I had hay, if that makes sense. So it's not going to use much of this bale, but it will fill it to the top. There we go. I think that's 100%. Might not be. Into the New Holland. Oh, it's only 88%. Oh well. It's still quite a bit. They'll have something to go on. So up to Yatton Ridge Farm. And our mixture is 75% silage, 25% straw. And I was hoping to put some hay in, like I said, but just don't have any. 
so we'll have to do that sometime in the future. Still quite a big load though. So I think it's probably a good time to do this and if anyone wants to give me a suggestion for the next map to go alongside this one um, to put into the vote then you can leave your suggestion down below and the top four requested will go into the vote and obviously there will only be one winner. Uh, the winning one will be the one we do alongside this one. So we'll be doing Cobra Park Farm and whatever the chosen one is. But the top four requested maps will be the four which go into the boat. But let's just give this to our pigs. Wow, that didn't take much. Probably a good job we didn't fill it to the top. And that's filled both troughs, so yeah, we didn't really need much at all. I'm sure we'll find somewhere to put it though. The cows probably need some more or something. Uh, let's have a think here, where are we? Um, let's just go straight back. We could fill these troughs up too. Okay, so it's still 79% despite us filling up all the troughs. And I think that is all of them. So, yeah, I really did overfill that. That's a nice little field. How much does that cost? Jump over. Oh, that's quite cheap. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we could bring the mower out to this one. That is cheap. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll cut this. We can do some hay baling. How much is this one? Fairly similar price. That is not a bad price really for the amount of land you got there. We might buy that one too. We'll have to see. But for now we're going to take this to the cows. Fill their trough up as much as we can. Another nice field there. There's a lot of nice fields here. I like these ones. Uh, these are all the new ones. So we now own 30 and 31. I'd like to buy 29 and might as well buy 28. <laughs> but not now because we are going to buy the fast track soon. So um, we could um, buy them all now but we wouldn't be able to afford it. But I am still considering renting something because it does seem to be a much better way of doing it. Because I'm playing in real time and like the JCB fast track to buy is I think 160-ish thousand pounds and to rent it for a day that's 24 hours in game time um, it's only 15,000 so it seems like quite a good way of doing it despite quite a lot of people not wanting me to rent so uh, just give me your suggestions again because if we do rent it we can get it almost straight away otherwise we'll be waiting for quite a long time saving up for it so, yeah, let me know. And same as before, we'll do what the majority of everyone says. Uh. 
Right, their trough's looking fairly empty. Probably a good job we did, did have a lot left over. Okay, we can really use it up here. Yep, taking it all. Good. So that's nice and empty. Oh dear. I've just noticed we're trapped. I have to reverse back out of here. So I'm hoping we'll still have that bale trailer when we want to pick up the bales. Um, the rent might run out soon, so we'll see. Put that there, and we need to put the mowers on. And I think they might already be with the case. Ye oh, they're not. That's got the windrow, so we'll put them on this. So I know we did mowing yesterday, but it's not a big field, and we do need some hay. But it will literally just be cutting today, we're not going to do any uh, tethering because it needs to dry out in the sun. Uh, and tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I might do a big harvest or we might do this uh, grass work, I'm not sure yet. Just depends how available Chainsaw 100 is. The combine driver. I feel like I've been on this lane quite a lot today, back and forth. But I think I said in the previous video it's one of my favourite roads, despite there being no traffic, because it's one of those nice tight country back lanes. And I think I prefer the smaller fields as well, like the one we just bought. I think I prefer that over the really big ones. And they're much more enjoyable to harvest and if it's grass much more enjoyable to cut and also they don't take as long to do so you can do a number of them in a video rather than just one massive one going up and down the field so uh, which one was it I think it was actually at the farm this one here Yep, it is. Open the gate. Unfold the mowers and turn the front one on. Turn the rear one on. And we're cutting again. Yeah, Field 28 looks nice. Quite a square one though. A lot of trees around here. This has taken such a long time to insert them all. It's one of the problems with turning with them on the floor, you can sometimes miss bits. usually pick them up when I get to the end and turn around but sometimes they can still miss bits. I 
Right. I'm just going to keep continuing going around here until the job's done. And then we'll just have to leave it to bake in the sun. Get it turning into hay. Nice sunny weather. I think someone mentioned the sun. <laughs> the sun is always out and it's not the typical rainy British weather we have. I think I must have set the rain probability to low or something. Because it would limit me quite a lot on what to do if it was always raining. Uh, but yeah, it's sunny. It's, it's summertime. Good sized field, really like it. I'd like to do all of these really, if we own them. Almost done. Okay, final bit. And then we can leave it to dry until tomorrow. When we will be able to tether it and then bail it all. a few little bits missed over here. Right, let's turn them all off and we'll fold up the rear one. And then we'll drop these off and continue tomorrow. Here we are back at Chantry Farm. Once again bringing the mowers back. Now we can just put this straight back in the shed. And we'll put the tether on next time. So there we go. Another field cut. Thanks for watching everyone. And you can join me again tomorrow with more Cobra Park Farm. Thanks for watching and bye for now.